The idea of my final project is one of the projects that I had in mind, and taking advantage of this course, I will execute part of the whole project as the final project of this course. The whole project is named Funeral Agency, and the product of the final project is named Rest in Peace, which is a website. So the project is about last words. Have you ever thought about the way you die? Whenever I get on public transport, I feel like this is my last trip. You may die because of various reasons, accident, disease, or aging, but you don't know when and how. Memory to the cloud to the body. This is the concept from Elder Carbon and Ghost in the Shell. The mind and body are two separate system. A human can upload their memory to the cloud before they die, and when when they have a new body, their memory is allowed to inject back to the body. Unfortunately, we we don't have this technology. If you have passed away all of a sudden, there might not be enough time for you to leave messages for your friends and family. I ask friends about what they want to do when 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 they don't have they only have a few minutes left because before they left their life come to the end. They all want to speak to their parents. Death is not painful. People think that death is equal to pain, but that is not true. Illness may may cause pain. Love is pain. Pity also becomes a pain. The most spoken words before death are, "I love you." So I'm thinking of why not make a a space to store messages. There are no worries if you know you're dying soon because we we got your back. If you leave your message on the site, we will help you deliver your message and wishes. To leave messages, you can imagine yourself dying, or you can recall something that you you had to speak out about, like some kind of secret. If you don't tell somebody, the misunderstanding will always remain unsolved. You can also share your experience from your life. The whole project consists of three main stages. The first one is collecting data. I need data from users to compose the web. As the content content is from the user, if I try some language generator and play around with sentences, the source also comes from the user's data. There are com some compulsory data that I I want to co- collect from users. I can make use of the data in the mean. In the meantime, it is a reflection for the users. It um to to think about the the answer. What is life to them? No time to hesitate. The first type of data is a profile picture. The picture will be announced as the portrait of the deceased if you pass away. Unfortunately, I find a meme online. Do you know that your portrait of disease may have been already taken? See you again for more stupid facts. Well, it is true. It's a fun fact, but please also take it seriously. The second data I need is the agreement to the term of use. I need them to tell about the 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 great the data collect is for my personal use only, but I will put the data on on the RIP website. They must be informed that they what they type will be a chance to be shown on my site. I need them to provide the basic information to me. At least I need to know how to identify them in a bunch of users. I might also need their phone number, their emails, and contact. If possible, I would like to have the passcode of their phone so that they can their family are able to access their phone. A general contact contact list will be helpful if there is a message to send, together with their phone or email. Close contact is the one. The platform will contact to tell him or her that we we have the last words from our users. Please help them to finish their wishes. Users need to tell us what they want to be finished after they they die, like a general message to tell people about their death news. Users can also define other actions by uploading their wish list as a document. It works like a testament here. Last but not least. I will remind them to tell their family and friends about his or he or her will with this website, because the system works best with a social network. If you if if your parents have signed up on our site, after they pass away, you know where to see that their messages, same as you. The stage 
two will be the product of the final project inside the, this course. I name it uh, Rest in Peace. This is one of the web pages of Funeral Agency. It is an online graveyard. It is the, the archive of the user's message when they die. So if you go to the site, the page will look like this. The, the graveyard. If you click on each and you can see the, the name of them, the message and the design of the grave. Stage 3 is more complicated. It is an application running continuously. Users need to provide the sign of signs of life by clicking I'm still alive button. If you haven't if we haven't received any signs within a period, we will contact users' families and publish their message soon. You can plan the deadline for the next period in our application. There will be two phrases before your last words were sent. After the first phrase, the app will ask you whether you are still surviving. After the second phrase, we, will, we still haven't heard from you and we will ask your close friend about it. The plan is to finish the first and second stage in three weeks. In the first week, I will create a database and the interface for users to create a profile. In the next two weeks, I will spread, I'll spread the page to collect data and work on the rest in peace simultaneously.